At that time, y'all, man, we get it. We about to go ahead and seal it. Uh, yeah, man, I got on my mask, man. So, oh, damn. See, I told y'all I do this every time. Every time I'm recording the truck, it's something I miss. I got to mask that up, man. Uh, yeah, but I think for the most part, that's it. Let me go ahead and, uh, Jesus, hot. Let me go ahead and mask that back half up, and then I'll cut y'all back on. explain to y'all what happened in like just three minutes so we got our back uh, area masked up got the back area masked up this plastic over it um i started spraying the fender as y'all seen and i hopped up here and i had to do this so when you let the sunroof back the little black little flat plastic rail lifts up i had it duct taped down really good and it still popped up I guess the duct, duct tape slipped and I even waxed and grease removed it before I even duct taped it because I was afraid that it was going to pop up in the middle of me painting and surely it did. So this is how I had, <laughs> as y'all can see, yeah. So hopefully that holds up. I need to hurry up and spray this sealer so it don't pop up. So yeah, and then when I jumped down, I stepped on my paint gun and crushed the, the liner and whatnot. So yeah, that's how my day's going so far. So. Yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and set this bad boy up. Hopefully praying that nothing else goes wrong. Hope everything goes smooth, man. Let's get it. Hey man, look, we got the sealer on, but not only do we have the sealer on, we have some areas masked up that might confuse you. Now, this is candy. Candy is way more complicated than just painting a regular uh, solid base color. Candy is tricky, it's super tricky. You really only got one shot to get it right. Now, um, my the process that I'm doing it now, if you have a comment or a suggestion please drop that comment this is actually the first candy project that i've taken all the way apart to spray the candy now i only sprayed i sprayed a cutlass and i sprayed a mustang and both of those vehicles i didn't have to take anything off i didn't take the doors off i didn't uh i didn't do you know the whole nine yards such as this um so i damn near confused myself but at the same time, I'm going with my gut. I'm going with my instinct. I'm kind of just going with what I feel like would be right. So like I said, drop a comment if you think there's an easier way of doing this. Now, um, I'm going to hit the jams first. I'm going to hit the jams. Once I finish the jams, I'm going to put the whole car together and just hit the whole car. Now, the reason this is all covered up is because with it being candy, man, if I, if I didn't have this covered up, I'm hitting the jams, meaning I'm jamming it. I'm hitting... All the jams is kind of self-explanatory. Boom, hitting all the jams for you new guys that don't know what jamming it means. Yeah, just hitting all the jams. I will base coat it twice. I'll do another base coat uh, twice, which is the silver. I'll do the silver twice. I'll do the red twice. And then I'll do the clear coat two or three times, maybe three times. After that, I'll let it dry. I'm going to do the same thing with the doors. Um, 
but the, the effed up part is I didn't seal the doors the day I, um, I didn't seal the, the doors the same day I did the, you know, the truck, um, because I had so much work to get these doors prepped up and the hood and the, the back latch. So it's, it's a lot. So, but man, we here, we doing it. So I got to seal these. I'm gonna wait about 30 minutes and then we'll slap the base coat on everything. We'll slap the silver on everything. Then we'll slap the red on everything. Um, and then we'll clear it. Now, um, I'm skeptical about how much, I think I might have to load up even more paint. Um, I only have two quarts and I honestly don't think, um, the two quarts to get it, get it all done. So my, I think my main focus is probably, we're, we're trying to get it all. We're trying to see how much we got, um, after we do the truck. So we'll probably hit like one coat on everything, just to kind of see where we are. And if we don't have enough, then I'll just focus on the truck. Um, so we can get the truck knocked out of here because I would have preferred these pieces to be in here as I'm doing it But hey, this is the process. We learning. I'm learning. I still got a lot learned to learn. I still got a lot to learn. So um, Y'all like I said drop those comments, man We getting ready to go ahead and spray the sealer I'm gonna spray the sealer on these parts and then I will cut y'all on when it's time to spray the silver Let's get it silver is something nasty i don't know what it is imagine like silver with like some red accents like some candy red accents no go look at my um my candy red mustang when i painted go look at the candy red mustang when i painted it that mug look nasty because i had i had the the silver and then it was the matte candy that was something stupid but it was before i cleared it and I was like, man, we should leave it like this. It was nasty. But this silver is it. This is galaxy silver. And it's going on. It's going underneath the candy. Uh, Y'all follow me, man. This thing is going to be sick when we finish with it. Um, So, tell me what y'all think about that silver. Imagine this thing is silver, huh? No, nah, I think it's, I think that it just looked good because it's all masked up and it's silver. But I think if it was all silver, it'd just be look like a regular Tahoe. So yeah, never mind. The silver look cool though. I ain't gonna lie. 
or a matte, like, damn, or a matte silver. Man, I'm about to cut y'all on when we start spraying. Let's get it. It's on, it's on. We got the red on there, man. Got the candy apple red on there. Uh, this took, I think, four four quarts. I got a little bit left. Four quarts, not bad. We looking mighty delicious. I promise you, camera does no justice. Y'all should be here. Um, but yeah, man, we gonna let them dry up, tack up a little bit more. Um, damn, this thing look good. Watch how huge of a difference it's gonna be once we clear it though. When we put that clear coat on there, it's gonna be some pressure. And my masking is not the greatest right now. So I'm gonna have to remask some of this. But for the most part, man, we getting somewhere. We finally getting somewhere. Like I said, this is the most I've broken down an SUV and almost a car. Cause I do not think I took apart the trunk of a V. I don't remember, honestly. I done done so many damn cars. But every day, every project, I'm just trying to um, perfect it. I'm trying to get better and better. I'm trying to up my quality. I'm trying to up my my speed. I'm trying to up everything as I go. But the only reason this is probably my last candy project for now, just because I want to perfect my own. I want to be able to take my time and actually take things off that need to be taken off. Because um, you get to a certain point, like I said, uh, where you start asking yourself, should you charge for this? Should you not? Stuff like that. So... I gotta, um, I'm gonna do my SUV, break it down even more than this. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, time how long it might have took. I'm gonna figure out, um, what I wanna charge and what I don't wanna charge. How long it took, how much money did I spend after, you know, after such and such. So yeah, I got, it's just a lot to learn, especially on these candy jobs. Cause boy, this is, this is, I underestimated this. I'm not gonna lie. It's fun. It's hella fun. But shit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it ain't no, it ain't no bus in and out type shit. So, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. Watch when we lay that clear, man. Even right now, I'm telling you, as I'm looking at my phone and as I'm looking at this this uh, door, it's completely different. 
it looked damn near a black cherry and then right in the light it just looked appley boy so watch when we lay that clear down we're gonna hammer it with this clear make sure we're gonna lay it on there really really good just trying to make sure i go over my work now um the more coats you do i think it'll i think it'll make it deeper so um i hit the same amount of coats i'm just trying to let this tack up and dry up and then we gonna spray that clear so y'all stay tuned for that um if y'all new to the channel hit that subscribe button like i said man slowly elevating slowly climbing to the top man let's get it Cut the flash on for y'all because I want y'all to get a, the closest closest idea as possible. Let's see what that look like, boy. Uh oh, okay, all right. Something close. It ain't it ain't it though. It ain't what it look like in person, but hey man, uh damn it. I'm 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 still gonna do another coat, man. I still gotta do another coat, man. Even though this this looks beautiful. I just love the way it looks. I'm honestly, I'm gonna be a thousand with you, uh, with y'all. I, I'm surprised I didn't run it because I did kind of hammer it pretty hard. And uh, they say if you ain't running, you ain't painting. Nah, um, it it looks really good. I, I love it. I want to do some candy green, man. Shout out to Sprayway Custom. He got the opportunity to spray candy green. I think a few times. And then to be real, I that was the first time I seen candy green um being shot and just in general i didn't even imagine candy green when i first seen candy red so um definitely definitely thankful for this opportunity to shoot the red again so this is my second time shooting red i shot candy red twice and i shot brandy wine once and then i shot the the um candy 
pagan gold. Um, I shot that once, but I only shot it on small parts and stuff. So, yeah, man, this thing look good. Now, like I like I said, um, with this particular order, man, I don't know another way. I really ain't even. But y'all probably wouldn't even believe me if I said I just don't be having enough time to even think about the steps that I'm gonna do before I do such like this. I just knew I was just trying to get the car apart and then I was just gonna spray everything and then I'll figure out, uh, I was just basically figuring out as I went. So my theory was to just, um, uh, let me cut this. My theory was to just um, jam everything and just put the whole car together and then spray the whole car. So that's just what I had in mind. Um, I haven't really paid attention to exactly how everybody else does it, but this way I had, you know, this way I do this to avoid, you know, when I, when I demask it, there's, there won't be any paint on this front half of the fender. If there was, say I didn't say all of this was all in the fender, I would nine times out of 10 have to sand that out because how candy works. Say if I didn't sand it out, I had overspray on this and I had overspray all right here. I even think I got a little overspray underneath here. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, if if I left the paint all up on the paint, whenever it's time to paint the outside of the car, this area right here and right here and the roof and right here will already have their its first layer of paint. So when I lay my first layer of paint on this fender, this outside is going to have a second coat. And then when I hit my second coat on the fender, this this outside is gonna have a third coat. So you're gonna see a darker area uh, around those areas that got overspray on it. So I know I, I hope y'all got that with me, but it is it can be complicated when it comes to candy because it's got like pearls and metallics and all that shit that dances in there. So it's very critical that you you stay on top of that and avoid hammering certain areas more than once. You'll see me do this when I'm spraying. And I that that I is such a habit, but when you spray, anytime you spray, you want to just one coat, boom, all the way around, all the way around, boom. You want the same amount of distance, you want the same amount of layers of paint. But me, sometimes I be feeling like I can finesse certain situations. Like like when I do spray this, boom. And I'm like, I keep going. I'm like, ah, that looks a little dry. Boom, 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 boom. And then I go back up top, spray the top, spray the top. And then I come down and I'm like, oh, look, a little dry over here. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, a little dry over there. Boom, boom, boom. I can sometimes get away with that. Not everybody can do that. And it's nothing to brag about. It's just I've fucked up so many times. I kind of got an idea on what I can and can't get away with. So um, I would recommend to, with spraying candy, hit all the way, go all the way around. Unless you just feel comfortable with it. But hit all the way around and just hit, especially on the outside. Now I cannot do that on the outside because it's a bigger area and it's gonna be harder, harder to, uh, to you know, trick the eye. So when we put the car together, we'll talk about that on another video. This particular video is just gonna be about the jams. But um, when you spray candy, you want to walk the whole car. So we're gonna start from the front, come all the way up to the top, all the way to the top, come back, and then coach all the way. You want to walk the car every single time. Because it will show, the candy paint will show hatchet marks way easier than a regular base car, uh, base color. Meaning a hatchet mark. So say I do this, boom, you, whenever you painting, say I'm painting this fender, you want to pass the fender and stop like somewhere a little bit past that seam. You don't want to stop at the seam. So you're going to spray and you're going to pass that seam. And then you're going to pass the seam. You're going to come down. You're going to pass the seam. Well, with candy, whenever it's time, say you finish the fender and now it's time to move to the door, you're going you're gonna to paint the door. You're going to start where where you stopped at, not on the seam. You're going to come after and you're going to you're gonna just pull the trigger and brush it in there. Don't pull the trigger right at where you stopped. So, yeah, anyways, feather it in, boom, and you're going to pass that door, other door seam, boom. Boom, 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 with candy, if you even, it's almost really, really hard to try to, try to not have a dark hatchet mark with it being candy. Now, a regular color, yeah, you can, you can start back where you, you know, boom, 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 but with candy, it's just, it's just different. So, it's just better to walk the whole car. Hell, I painted a car one time, and then I showed another painter, and he was like, yeah, I can tell you didn't walk that pearl, and I was like, 
I step back from the car. To this day, I still can't see it, what he can see because he's just an upscale painter. Like he's up there, he knows. But my, uh, I did a, I did a car and I put Pearl in it, and I didn't walk the car. Well, with Pearl, the moment you stop, you now you have one, you have too much Pearl in one spot than the rest of the car. So I could be like Pearling, I'm Pearling, 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 Pearling. Well, right here, nine times out of ten, is gonna have more Pearl. Because I'm stopping and starting back up. So I'm used to flicking. So I'll I'll pull the trigger and flick it. And then come back on it. Flick it. Come back on. Now you're not supposed to do that because they say you're wasting paint. But hey, everybody different. So um, but yeah, man, the, that that professional painter, he he stepped back from the car. And I had all my friends look at the car because I was in love with the car. I was like, damn, this this car's so perfect. Oh my god, I did it the right way. And then I backed up. I was like, I don't see a flaw in it. It's beautiful. And then I was flexing it was actually my cousin car so i was just flexing i'm through the city damn near nah but um i had another painter look at it and he was like yeah man you did a great job but he was like well next time you lay pearl you want to walk it and i was like what the fuck is you talking about like and he was like yeah i can tell you was spraying a pearl panel to panel and i was like how and he was like you can see your pearl marks and i still could not find them pearl marks like he he saw he pointed out everywhere i stopped he was like you stop right here you stop right here, you stop right here, and then you got a little bit dark over here. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> and he and he was on point because those were my, my my stopping marks. So, um, yeah, I don't mean to talk to y'all ear up, but uh, definitely, definitely be mindful of spraying candy. Um, I'm not 100% comfortable with spraying candy, but I feel way better than um, than what I did the first time. But we're going to go ahead and drop another coat. This is my second coat. Let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do one more coat, and then we're going to call it. Oh, I ain't even really needed a second coat, uh, but I bought some clear, uh, some extra clear so I could do that. But, yeah, man, y'all tell me what she, how she look, man. Y'all tell me how she look. I'll cut y'all back on when we, um, when I'm done with the clear. I don't plan on really recording this process because it's, it's exhausting. It's time, time consuming as well. So, yeah, man, let me go ahead and spray this, and we'll see what it look like on that third coat. Let's get it.
Yes, sir, man. All right, real quick, real quick. I want to talk about the steps it took to get to this point because I didn't record all the steps. Um, I did two coats of sealer. I did two coats of silver. And then I did three coats of red. And then I did uh, four coats of clear. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what all the steps. I looked at my paper. That's what I wrote down. Man, I've been going back and forth trying to figure out how many coats of what I did, what, but went in there and wrote it down, luckily. So, yeah, man, that's that's the steps on um, what it is. Now, sealer is like primer. I did the primer sealer that covered up all my scratches. I did, I, I sanded everything with 320. I sanded everything with 320. Then I sealed it with the two coats of sealer and then the two coats of silver and then the three coats of red and then the four coats of clear. So that's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of layers. That's a lot of work, but came out great. We'll let this sit. I'm going to actually go ahead and let this sit for two days because I want to make sure that this clear coat is fully cured. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, for de definitely for two days, but I'll see where we're at. Um, I just don't want to risk when I mask it up um, that that residue from the tape gets left on there or whatever reason. I want to be able to make sure I'm, I'm able to buff it. And then I want it to uh, cure properly because I, in case, you know, because we got a lot of shit to put back together so um i don't want to scratch anything i want to try and avoid nicking and chipping and all of that um you know so last thing i want to do is chip some candy paint um yeah so but y'all drop those comments man drop those pointers drop those tips let me know what you think i should touch up on probably need to work on um but like i said we're gonna we're gonna let this dry we're gonna let this tack up and stuff like that well cure and then we'll take all this paper off and then put the put the car together and then hit one good well a few coats. So like I said, this was I used about I think I think four I don't I think a gallon, damn near. A damn near a gallon. Like three quarts. I think I used three quarts. Um I don't I can't I can't I'm only speaking for myself. I I didn't think it was gonna take that much. But maybe I, I mixed it two to one instead of one to one. I did two to one. Um, it, it covered fairly easy. It's just I think I just hammered it a little more than what I needed to because I was just trying to make sure everything was covered. Um, I was trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I laid a lot of paint. Um, you could probably get away. You could probably get it up to this point with maybe two and a half, maybe three coats, something like that. But I think I hit like like maybe four coats. I know I probably said something different earlier, but I think I hit about four four coats because um, the first two coats was light, and then the second, the two, you know, the last two coats was pretty heavy. So yeah, uh, we're gonna scoot these parts over here in a little bit so we can get that impala in here. Um, but yeah, man, y'all y'all drop those comments. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. Tell me how y'all feel about this candy apple red on this Tahoe. Like I said, remember, we're doing the wheels as well. The wheels is going candy as well. So it's going to be interesting, man. Y'all hit that subscribe button, man. We're going to get up on out of here and get some rest. It's the weekend. We're going to chill. Yes, sir. We out of here, man.